And of course, yield is only part of the question. The other side is quality. And here to talk about that is Brent Hibbets of Enoch Grain Inspection. Brent, tell us what is the quality this year? What are we looking at? Uh, overall, the quality is really good. Um, we're seeing high test weights, um, anywhere from 61 and a half pounds to 62 and a half pounds average. Uh, you know, there's been a wide variety, but that's mainly where it is. We're also seeing high proteins. Um, that's been ranging from 12 all the way up to 15, 16 percent. Uh, I would say the average is around 13 percent. So why are we seeing those better numbers this year? Uh, you know, anytime there's a stressed crop, uh, you know, the nitrogen, nitrogen plays a big role in your protein levels. So on a wet year, the, the plants use the nitrogen to help increase the yield and, uh, you know, the kernel size. But when, the, when it's dry like this, nitrogen, all that does is boost up the protein. The plant uses that because it doesn't have the moisture to increase the yield. So basically the nitrogen is just, uh, you know, making that protein shoot up. Very good. Now, you know, usually we're at this time of year, we start talking about dockage and other discounts. What are producers seeing this year? Is the crop looking good? You know, overall, this is some of the best wheat I've ever seen. Uh, it's, you know, the test weights are good, the protein's high, the crop is clean, you know, not a lot of dockage. You know, there's no types of field damages in the wheat. So, it, you know, overall, it's, it's excellent. Okay, so basically what we're seeing here is, is low yield but a very good crop for folks and something they can definitely work with. That's right. I mean, yeah, the yields haven't been, you know, as high as they hoped, but it is overall, the, the quality is excellent. And that quality makes a difference for grain merchandisers like Dale Owens. Well, generally, the demand for the past year has been largely for a 12-protein wheat and uh, some demand for very low-protein wheat, like 11. And it, the, the protein being higher uh, generally it will make it easier to uh, attract a buyer as long as we maintain the consistency of that. You don't want to jump around and offer a, and, and sell to exporters and them, them uh, therein to foreign buyers a wide range of proteins unless that's something they normally do. Kernel size is a little big of a, it's a bit of a change from last year. So it's, a, it's something that the milling industry is going to have to adjust to and to accommodate that, but the protein and is excellent. And so I think it'll be easier. There's a, there was a good, a good volume of carryover wheat in the United States before harvest started. So that taken together with a higher protein new crop wheat, so generally where people have old crop stocks, it'll, it'll make a really a, a very nice uh, mix and a blend for a foreign buyer for export. And the mills will, will generally go to the new crop within a month just depends how they can handle this one. Owen says beyond protein quality and dockage, other normal concerns simply aren't a problem this year. We have space. Generally, that's usually a big concern. So we've got space at all of our facilities. Uh, we have space at the terminal. We have grain going out. We just loaded a train uh, yesterday, finished it this morning. And that's going for export. Uh, some concerns are gonna be whether we can maintain our market share as a country and uh, to make sure that we still get that demand to keep these price levels and the demand for the, the basis level strong for the grain, that reflects the demand. And uh, but we just have to see how that goes over the next you know, three, four to six months. And in a year that didn't play out as expected, Owens points optimistically to the future. Less than a week, we'll probably be in a cleanup stage. And so the mood's good, everybody's happy, uh, and uh, I think the farmer in general is pleased, he, he's definitely pleased with the price, he just wish he had more bushels uh, to apply against that price, but the future still for next year's crop prices for 2012 right now are very attractive, but that's a long ways away and things can change. <laughs>